Hey guys, I'm going to be quick and short on this, and um, I hope you pay attention. So let's go to file, import, file. Let's choose our video or picture, whatever you like. Let's drag and drop the video and drag and drop again. Okay, now let's find a spot. We're going to start masking out the scope. And that is right when he zooms in. Okay, that's a good spot. And um, we want to split the layer and duplicate. So let's click. We have our top video selected. Go to edit, split the layer. As you see, this video just got duplicated, and we don't want this video. So let's delete it. Let's click on top. Video again. Let's go to edit. And duplicate. And um, masking in After Effects is almost the same as in Vegas. And um, so let's call this Mask 1. Let's call this Mask 2. I'm only doing this because I want to get my stuff organized so I won't get confused. Okay, so let's start masking out our scope on mask one. Okay, that's our first mask. And uh, let's start our second mask. We'll start at the right hand corner again. Okay, that's our second mask. And now let's apply 3D stroke. Let's go to effect. Go to trap code. 3D stroke. And um, let's put the thickness down to two okay that was good and um we'll start keyframing the um start over here so click on the stopwatch and they will create create a keyframe in the timeline and uh let's let's put this up to 100 Okay, so we have nothing over here. No 3D stroke. Now as we go forward, we'll, I'll get a headshot over here. Let's keyframe this again. Go, go down to zero. And as you see, it's creating outline, transition outline, as you see. Let's put this down to zero. Let's see how it goes. pretty good let's go to start again let's go to max 2 go to effect trap code 3d stroke put this down to 2 thickness and instead of start we'll go to end and keyframe the end and um let's put this down to 0 okay and let's move forward right when I get a headshot. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's put this up to 100. Let's see. Let's see this baby. Okay, that's pretty good. As you see, the mask, the three stroke doesn't go away. So. We are going to have to keyframe the opacity on the mask. So let's go down over here. Go to transform. And um, let's see. We'll keyframe the opacity right when I'll zoom out. Maybe right here. Click the stopwatch on opacity. 
and now let's move forward a few frames over maybe up to over here go down to zero and uh, as you see one of the masks are going away okay so let's go to mask 2 do the same thing go to transform click the stop while drilling opacity move forward a few frames put this down to zero and there you go the three stroke is gone animating blah blah now let's add a little life to the 3D stroke or the mask whatever you want to call this let's go to effect trap code shine let's put the ray length to zero let's go to car rise and let's put like a blue color so I'm gonna choose electric but you could choose whatever you want okay that looks pretty good let's go to mask 2 we'll do the same thing Go to trap code, shine. Uh, let's put this down to zero. Go to car eyes. And uh, choose blue again, electric. And um, I think that looks pretty good. You could add, you could add a bunch of effects on a 3D stroke. Whatever you like. It's your choice. Also, in the video, as you saw, I rotated the outline and scaled it up. So why don't we do that? We want to scale it up and rotate it right when I get a headshot. So uh, let's kick, let's click the stopwatches on scale and rotation. Let's do the same thing for scale and rotation on the mass two. Let's go to Max Quan again. Uh, let's go to the point where the last opacity keyframe is. Okay, I want to set a keyframe over here on scale. Scale this up, maybe up to here. Uh, 120, 123, whatever you like. Go to rotation and rotate this maybe to 20 degrees or so whatever you like let's go to mass 2 and rotate them uh... scale this up maybe to 130 and rotate this to minus 20 whatever you like of course and uh... let's preview this real quick Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, one more thing. There's a difference between doing 3D stroke on a video and a picture. Um, I'm doing 3D stroke on a video and on the scope because the scope does not move it just stays in one place and it's basically like doing 3d stroke on a picture which doesn't move so um 3d stroke on a scope is really easy um if you're going to do 3d stroke on a character it'll be a different story because it will be looking really bad and you have to keyframe the mask movement and then um, uh, what I do is took a screenshot of a part of a character and then doing a 3D stroke um, animation on it I don't know if you understand but that's what you have to do if you're going to do 3D stroke on a character um, then you just render it out and go back to Vegas or wherever you program you use and um, just blend it in as you saw in uh, other montages or Halo 3 montages whatever you saw it 
And um, I hope you earned something. This is Shizzy, and I'll see you next time.